How many of you make uh, PowerPoint presentations? Uh, more and more, uh, the customer or the potential customer is requiring presentations. Uh, so it's a good idea to have a few uh, set to go. One good one might be a PowerPoint presentation on your company. The features, the benefits, the history, uh, kind of like a mini web page that you would present and you could even use that as a marketing tool. Uh, here's some things to keep in mind in preparing these types of presentations. First of all, what you might do is number the slides, particularly if you're going to make a presentation where you're going to have handouts. If you have the slide and the number, then you're, they're able to, to reference that and maybe write down any questions or comments that they might have. Uh, the other thing you really want to do, very important, because it can be a big distraction, is to use spell check before you put your slides together and uh, finalize them. And then don't use a lot of different fonts. Don't use uh, different sizes, different shapes. Uh, remember, this is a professional presentation and it wants, you want this to reflect the professionalism of your company. And then manage the animation that you use. You've seen presentations where you have words coming from every part of the page and disappearing and flashing and getting bold and then unbolded. Uh, so make sure that again, this is easy to read, easy to the eyes. Remember this PowerPoint, uh, if you're not using it as a, as a handout or something to be viewed without somebody speaking, uh, that's one thing, but if you're going to be talking and using a PowerPoint, it should enhance what you say and not take away or detract. And then you want a good tip, start the presentation, uh, see if it starts up on the right slide. Uh, just double check everything, make sure the um, remote is working properly so that when your presentation starts, there's no interruptions or distractions. These are just a few tips that can help you in uh, your PowerPoint presentations uh, when you use uh, or when you start to prepare for them.